Hello everyone, it's Cisco Labs, and I'm back yet again playing Age of Engineering. New between episodes. I did a fair amount, so let's take a look and uh, get right to it. Uh, first off, um, we're pretty much done this pack. We, we don't got very much to go. I'm just going to show you a couple things here, then we're going to hammer more out. Don't know if we're going to finish today, probably be the next episode, but we're, we're pretty much there. Let's pick a dimension here. Let's dial that one. Bam. I made five new liquid dimensions, not because I needed to. This was all for fun, and two to test out that recipe. Ooh, how did I get down here? I'm so very confused. Anyway, to test out that recipe for the dimlets, to make sure that it always made a water world. Just the flat water world with nothing else in it except for maybe structures, and uh, it works great. So if you ever want to make a liquid dim and uh, have it be consistent, it's never been anything but a liquid world out of six dimensions. So I think that's pretty solid. Pretty solid, and uh, yeah, I'm going with that. Uh, but yeah, I just made these dimensions mostly for fun. So it isn't something you actually need to do. Um, if you made the UU Matter one earlier, you could get a lot of mileage out of that one. I did do a little bit of use with it down here. Uh, so I have my, what is that? That is the scanner. Then I have four pattern storages uh, on all of its faces. Then I have replicators on all their faces. So I have eight replicators here. And they're just pumping out materials that I need, right? So I can replicate an insane amount of things. And uh, it doesn't cost me one billion RF. It costs me some EU that I'm not even using anymore. And uh, fluid that I have an infinite amount of. So <laughs> it is uh, pretty good. It's working pretty cool. And uh, yeah, just kind of random, really random things that are just speeding up the process, right? Like these generators. Every time I make a quantum, I need a generator. Um, these advanced circuits, you need them for everything. The advanced alloys, you need them for everything. These copper cables, you need them for everything. You just speed up things. It's just speeding up all the crafting. And, uh, I don't... I think I took the advanced circuits out too, didn't I? I need to change that. Uh, I'm probably done with coal chunks. Let's go... Top here. I want to make sure these are going. Because these ones are actually slow. They take, uh, 600 millibuckets. They don't go very fast. Anyway, we'll switch that over. It's doing its thing. Oh, make sure it's on repeat run. And it'll start going. There we go. Depending on how much EU they take, it kind of determines how fast they go. And yes, I was doing flint because, well, I was running out of flint. Uh, I guess I could have used gravel, but uh, I was like, I'll just use UU. Uh, all I do, too, is throw whatever I want to scan here. So say I want wrenches. Bam. It scans them. Then I grab this thing in here, which is the memory. Boom. One of these puppies. And, uh... It scans it. It tells me how much, how many millibuckets it's going to cost. Then I can click the save button. Um, because I have four pattern, usually if you have one pattern storage, you could just click save. It'll send the recipe straight to the storage. Uh, because I have four, it's been kind of defaulting. It actually sends the recipe to this one first for whatever reason. And then, yeah, I have to move it to the other ones if I want to move it to a different spot. So the way I've been moving it, though, is just by putting in the crystal memory. When you hit save, it saves it to the memory, crystal memory. And then you can just take that to any of the other pattern storages. Uh, throw it right here. Click import, and then it'll have that pattern inside the pattern storage. And then it should be able to be accessed by the uh, surrounding machine. So that's the way I've been doing that. And it works pretty good. But yeah, just uh, kind of <laughs> duping more things because it could. My atomic multipliers are actually, they have nothing running in them right now. I think I actually have everything I need now. <laughs> so let's go do, say, quantums. No, let's do the other ones. Let's do uh, the solars, the tier sixes. Because I know these ones are going to be hilarious because I made way too much. Yeah, all I need is glowstone. <laughs> That's hilarious. Anyway, let's go here. How many creatives do we have right now? Six? Okay. Let's well, actually... I actually think I have enough to make more creatives, and we need two more right now, so let's actually just go make those. What do I need here? Flux. Here we go. I have 14. I still need a couple more of those, but not too many more of the uh, Draconic Fluxes. There we go. There's enough for two. I think I just need those uh, Solars as making two, and the Quantums, and then a couple more Fluxes, and I can make another eight, I think. At least. So, yeah. We're doing pretty good. Anyway, let's go here. We're going to actually straight up make our creative tank. So, let's just get to that real quick. Because uh, we have everything we need. So, let's just uh, do that. I do not know why I split those up like that. I just know I need four of the creatives in this form here. So, let's do that. 
And there is our creative fluid tank. Boom. And we should be able to. Nice. We've got an achievement. What's it say? All the fluids. We have every one of the fluids. <laughs> and we could just do that. Bam. New trophy. Look at that. Well, the trophies just look awesome. Let's come over here. I want to try something here. Do we have any uh, water in here? I just want to make sure we can void this thing easy. I've never used this creative tank, so I'm curious. Let's put that there. Put that there. And break that. It does void it. So let's go like this. Let's go like that. What? Why is it emptying that bucket? That is neat. It's like almost like I'm in oh, creative. <laughs> I was confused. Why? Ooh, I'm doing horrible things. Anyway, it didn't empty the bucket. See, that emptied the bucket. It's as good and proper. The main thing I want to see is uh, how exactly it functions. So let's kind of do that. Do this. Let's grab a actual wrench. Let's go here. Boom. So do we have a bucket of water? We do. And I can just void it like that. Sweet. So we know how it functions. We can void it. We can fill it. And we can reuse it. So that's pretty cool. Okay. So we have created a tank down. So we're going to utilize that. Because the next thing we need to do is actually make all the gases. So let's go to creative again. This is our next creative. Boom, boom. I'm going to actually show you first the vending, just to show you how close we are. We have our two creative fluid tanks, and I'm going to make one more of those. I already stated I just need to make more creatives, and then we're good to go. Um, not more creatives. Uh, yeah, more creative capacitors. Um, our creative gas tanks. We still need to make those. The mandolin ingots. I just need to craft those. They're literally just a matter of craft. Uh, HDPE pellet. That's a matter of throwing it in a bin. I think I have 17,000 of them. Uh, iridium ore. Iridium ore. <laughs> I left running uh, last night. And yeah, that's done. I actually stomped it. We actually have 6,800. So I think we're good. Um, and what was the last one? The last one is actually the scented paneling. And this is kind of why I have... Let's get that out. Um, this is why I have... My atomic reconstructors, uh, all empty right now, because I actually need to take scented paneling, put them in uh, the atomic multipliers and multiply 4,000 of them, because I'm not going to get to the B-way. I'm not going to do it that way at all. I'm just going to multiply, multiply, multiply. So basically all I needed was one royal jelly, two beeswax, pollen cluster, some oak planks, and uh, oh, I didn't even save any honey. I'm going to have to make one more half bucket of honey. <laughs> and then I could just multiply until I have 4,000. And uh, on top of that is the gases. So that's what we're working on. So let's go into the book because you can't actually see the gases in JEI. It is uh, a JEI issue with mechanism. Let's go to creative and go here. So the gases we need are clean osmium slurry, which I can't remember what the machine is that does that. Clean osmium slurry. I'm trying to remember. I think you make the slurry first in one machine, and then you clean it in the washer. But I forget which machine makes the slurry and what liquid. Oh, that might be the hydrochloric acid. Okay. Um, hydrogen chloride. I'm not sure about that one either. I'm going to have a look at sodium. I know that hands down. And uh, we're just going to get to that one first. I've already kind of crafted a bunch of stuff because I just knew that one. Uh, ethylene we already have. Ethylene was powering, well it is powering our advanced generators. So we had all that. So I actually just stuck tanks onto them. Wow, 256 bucket tanks, I believe. Uh, well, gas tanks. Uh, so it's gathering them up. It's gathering up ethylene, hydrogen, and oxygen. Because that's all that setup produces. And we need DT fuel. So I think this one and this one are the hard ones. Uh, this one's really easy. So we're going to get the sodium first. And we're going to be able to use our creative gas tank, uh, sorry, liquid tank that we just got to kind of speed that up. Which way are we? Let's head over to the mining dimension and kind of get to work on that. Bam. Because like I said, once we set this one up, though, I'm going to have to kind of figure out. What do I have here? Oh, gray wool. I killed a sheepy. Anyway, uh, <laughs> once we get this one done, it's not going to be as quick because I actually have to figure some of these things out. So, yeah. I figured we'd get the quick one done first, but first we need to set this up. This is the thermal evaporation tower. Some people call it the desalization tower. I've heard it. I've heard about four different names. The official name, 
could not care less. It turns water into brine and brine into sodium. And we need both of those. For this first one, though, we just need the brine. So we're going to go to that, kind of set this up, and get to it. And realistically, with the creative uh, liquid tank, we only need uh, one, I think, one millibucket of brine. So this is actually overkill. So we're just going to get this set up really quick and get it done. It is a multi block. Oh, I did switch to the drill too because I got tired of breaking everything. I just have more control over this thing. That should be good enough there. Actually, that's too much. Let's uh, break that, break that, maybe break that. There we go. Okay, I made one more set of blocks than I need to. These blocks are super cheap too. I'll kind of show those. Uh, yeah, blocks of copper, brass plate, stuff like that. Um, this was that jazz, so nothing big there. And the ports, yeah, super easy. Anyway, let's grab two of these. This will put one there and one there. We're gonna throw that there. You notice I left a corner empty. Some people might be going, you forgot a corner. You're so silly. No, I actually did it on purpose because we can feed the power directly. And you can actually put one of these in every corner. And the taller this thing is, the faster it works. But we're not worried about speed because we only need one millibucket. It's going to literally take, I don't know, another minute here, maybe two. Depends on how much I derp. Let's go here. Let's go to extract. Let's go to insert. And we can go to the interface. You know if this thing turns this color that it's working. Uh, it says form, it says the height, it says the temperature, the temperature will go up and it'll be dependent on how many solars you use and how tall it is. And uh, I think actually by the biome too. But anyway, it's pulling in water. We already have brine. That's exactly what we wanted. So yeah, let's uh, pull that out. Let's go here. I shouldn't have put these together. But anyway, I'm going to break that just so it does not uh, pull water into it. Extract. Insert. And there we go. We have a creative tank of brine, just like that. And boom. There we go. So, what was we were making? It was sodium, right? Sodium. Bam. I'll kind of show you here. I'm going to show you too. Sodium. Some of these liquids with mechanism and gases, it's kind of hard to know what their default state is. You can't really tell by looking at them. The easiest way is look them up. Look at the main one. So, this one's sodium. And then... Look at the one that has a name in front of it. So this one is liquid sodium. So you know its default state is sodium because it's just, just the way it works. Same as if I go to brine, brine is a liquid by default. Uh, so brine, there you go. I go to the other one, gaseous brine. It has a word in front. So you can find out which one is the default because it's a little confusing because sometimes you don't know which tank you need and stuff like that. I just find mechanism a little confusing like that. There we go, let's get rid of that. So we're going to need a little, the electrolytic separator first. We're going to throw that there. Throw that here. We're actually almost done this setup, which is pretty cool. I'm going to throw another one of these solars here. And I'm going to scavenge this when we're done. It's just easy power. 160 joules just for showing up. Uh, we're going to need brine, which is in this tank. I don't know if it's going to be an auto export. We're about to find out. It does not look like it. Okay, we'll just do this. I we'll guess we'll grab some cable here. I think there's actually space in between these, right? Are you going to let me do it? You let me fly through there, but apparently it won't let me do it the way I want. Anyway, let's put it here maybe. Set it to extract. There we go. We're getting our brine in there. And we should start getting sodium and chlorine. So there we go. We need our sodium. And sodium's a gas, so let's grab tank here we need to make did i actually set up a recipe for those tanks yet yes 64 buckets and that's what we need and we need what two of these actually make another one actually three when i think about it kind of do that now because i didn't do it with the liquids and where i was going to make three of them in the end i might as well just kind of make it uh i guess we just need the liquids out of here Let's see here we need uh what is the name of the piping for mechanism that uses the gas? Is it tubes? Look here in a second. Pipe is for liquids, right? And tube, I think. Pipe, 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 tube. Yes, okay. Let's go here. Uh, let's go to tube. Let's start. What's, what's, the, what's this one? I don't even care. Basics will do. 
we're not running anything fast, so it doesn't really matter. Let's go here. And we should be able to just do this, right? Oh, it got the wrong gas. No. How do we avoid these? There must be a way to avoid these tanks. Let's see here. Where to one? Chlorine. Can we craft it with itself? That'd be too easy. I'll, I mean, at this point, I'll just throw it away. I just don't see a way to avoid it. I'm a derp. Okay. I actually need to get it out this side. These machines are faced. I always forget about that. Dumping excess on that. Boom. We'll need one more tank. Boop. Like I said, it really depended on how much I derp. Anyway, let's go, I guess, here and here and here. It's the best piping ever. <laughs> there we go. That'll do that. I guess we could just uh, do it like this, right? All that matters at this point. Don't really care what it looks like. I just want to kind of get these all lined up and have three of them producing. Let's go here. Let's grab one more tank. There we go. And there we go. And boom. That's going to handle that. It is going to take a little while, you know, for it to go. Oh, is it going to the back one first? Yeah, I guess we could throw some upgrades in there or something, right? I guess we don't need this either. That's kind of silly. Uh, we could throw upgrades, but at the same time, I need to go around and create more fluids anyway. So I think that's just going to fill up over time. So I'm in no rush. And okay, I kind of took a look at the recipes and try to figure out the best kind of, you know, order of progression to kind of do the fuels in. And I looked, I came across this one. We need the hydrogen chloride. That is one we need. And we happen to just have chlorine. We just made chlorine. So I can actually steal that. Uh, and we also need hydrogen. So we actually have tons of hydrogen from the setup. I use the elite gas tanks here. I think this one hydrogen. Yeah, hydrogen. 239,536. So that is more than enough. So we have all that we need. So I think that'll be the next ones we do. And uh, I haven't really looked at how to do these ones. Let's see here. We need hydrogen chloride. So apparently we need the chemical infuser. So we're going to probably go, well, we'll stay here, I guess, and look at the chemical infuser. What do we need? Chemical infuser. Chemical oxidizer. Injection. Distillation washer. Oh, infuser. There we go. So we need some rich alloy, some basic tanks, and that stuff. What do we got? Nothing. Let's go to enriched. I think it was four of those, right? There we go. Yeah, we need a dynamic tank. Boom. And we need some basic tanks. Okay. Easy enough. Basic tank. Just do that. Let's grab two of those. We'll need more of those anyway. So, actually, let's make... We're going to need a bunch of those over the time. Anything else? I think that's pretty much everything we need. And this one's just gases, so we can't use the benefit of the creative tank on this one. Um, but uh, we can make this now, so let's make that. Bam. Uh, we might grab another solar, too. Let's do that. Just so we don't have to run power. I see no purpose to run power at this point. Uh, let's go here, here, here. There we go. Go here and here. Yeah, I, th I think the hardest point of the part of these gases is kind of figuring out exactly what order to do them in. <laughs> so here, so it showed. Let's go back to the sodium chloride. Sodium chloride. Bam. Nope, that isn't it. Sodium chloride? That's not the one we wanted. I'm totally confused. Guide, which, which liquid did I want? I want hydrogen chloride. There we go. Hydrogen chloride. There we go. Hydrogen, chlorine, chemical infuser. I guess we could just run them on both sides. And they'll both be gases. So I'm actually going to have to move that over. I need to pull that chlorine out first, I guess. Or just pipe it over. I guess we could just do that. Bam. These machines are almost guaranteed going to need some speed upgrades. And maybe some more solars, actually, because this power isn't going to cut it. Uh, but not that big a deal. Let's do that. Chemical infuser. And that's already getting chlorine, so I'm guessing we can just run hydrogen through the other side. Let's go here. Guess we can grab this hydrogen tank. Bam. Do that. Elite gas tank. Bam. And I think we have to... I have a configurator, don't I? 
Where's my configurator? Is that one of the things I lost? Nope, I have a bunch. There we go. It looks more, it makes more sense to be able to pull from the top than the bottom. Kind of like a propane can, right? <laughs> I have not used these tanks a ton, in case you haven't noticed. Mechanism is probably one of my weakest points when it comes to modded Minecraft. Straight up. Pull. Does it know? Want to pull? There must be a trick to these that I am not aware of. Energy, heat, gas. There we go. Try this now. Is that going in there? Ah, it's doing it. It's doing it. Is it making hydrogen chloride? It is too. Well, there we go. I mean, there's already another fuel. I guess we can go here. I'll need some more of those uh, tubes, right? Bam. That's not a tube. Boom. Those mechanism pipes are so dark in JEI, you can barely see them. There we go. I guess we'll do this and this. There we go. Basic gas. Is that getting hydrogen chloride? It is. And we'll need two more. So let's go to hydro. I think the next ones are not this easy at all. So <laughs> hydrogen. Why am I typing hydrogen when I just want to tank? Let's go tank. Let's make, we already made them. Awesome. Let's go here and here. I thought I grabbed them. I did not. I'm being totally derpy. Here we go. I get a little out of my element when it comes to a mod, and I'm just like, what am I doing? How do I Minecraft? Anyway, there we go. That setup will work, of course. They should probably have a lot more power. Uh, do I just want to give them creative power? Do I want to do that? And then uh, hammer out their upgrades. I probably just need some quantums, right? Let's see here. Because I could just make a uh, creative power cell. Kind of power them that way. Let's make... Ooh, I was going to hit a 1,000. Go. How fast is that going? Pretty fast. I guess it's mostly just compressed coal. Some coal chunks. That'll be done. Okay. Let's look at the uh, upgrades. I always forget what they're called. I don't think I ever auto-crafted those. No. Oh, I did upgrade the... No, I just have one. <laughs> so we need speed and energy, right? Let's go here. See if we can find them. Speed. What do they take? Grass. And then just enriched. There we go. Let's do... Like that many. There we go. Give those a couple seconds. And uh, what are the energy upgrades? Energy. Get these puppies all sped up. And those are gold powder. Do I actually have gold power on in stock? Apparently so. Okay. <laughs> and uh, how's our creative doing? Just about done. I guess it's just these 50 bore coal. These compressed coal. If I was actually going to multiply. I'm already doing the coal ball. I guess... The, I, the caress cobalt, this thing was like half a bucket or something. It wasn't worth doing, so I just did these ones because they were actually super fast, but this is like the last hinge point. <laughs> and okay, everything's done here. We just need to make our next creative. Uh, we just need our flux because they have data. They don't like moving because they're not fun. We'll go here. Bam. Let's do that. Boom. Let's make a, uh, another, uh, what's called a uh, quantum. Quantum, bam. I just like keeping these going now <laughs> because I have pretty much everything. Is there anything I might run out of? I've been pre-crafting this stuff to the Empowered Palace of Redstone. Uh, I may have enough for another 10. I think I do actually, so we should be good there. I made 16 energy upgrades, 16 speed upgrades. I probably should have made muffling upgrades too. I just didn't think of it until right this second. Anyway, <laughs> let's do this and that and yes. Apparently this is an issue. If it won't let you go back to the creative, you actually have to log out and log back in. But I want to leave it like this for right now, so it's not really an issue. <laughs> Let's uh, take these puppies. Bam. Bam. Uh, we are going to need some power cable. I did not make that, but that's not a big deal. That's the least of my, my worries. Does this one take power? Where do you power this one? Is there a default side? Usually there's the default side kind of set the power. I'm not seeing on this one. Is it underneath? Nope. Okay. We'll just power it in that way. Doesn't really matter. 
I was just curious. Here we go. Let's go to uh, Mech. It's just universal, isn't it? Basic universal. Yeah, there we go. Well, it doesn't have to be basic. Let's just go to uh, universal, advanced, ultimate. I forget how these work. Yes, eight to make one. Yes, but you can just make the... Is that the way that works? You can just right click and use the atomic ally on the... I forget. Let's try that. Stainless steel. I don't remember stainless steel. Is that a thing? <laughs> it is too. There we go. I totally forgot about stainless steel in this pack, so anyway, we'll let that go for a second. There we go. Bam. Do that. I want to try and make it atomic too, because I thought you could just upgrade these cables. And I thought it was in groups of eight. There we go. I only have a couple atomic alloys because I multiplied so many. <laughs> Oh, I love the multiplier. So, does it work like this? I thought it just went like that. We'll see here. I'm curious. Boop. Anyway, let's go. Let's actually put that more in the center. That would make more sense. Let's put it like right here. Basic universal cable. Then I guess... I want to try doing this. Boom. Nope. Can't do that. Okay. Not a big deal. I was just kind of curious. Like I said, I'm not very good with mech. So I like trying to just try new things with it. Let's throw that in there. Boom. I'd like to have a pack where I had to do a lot of mech. Because it is a mod where I've kind of ducked. I just haven't had to use it a lot. So, yeah. Anyway. Let's go elite. No, not elite. Just once. Oh, that makes eight. Oh, you have to scale them up. I see. Enriched and reinforced. Okay, let's go to Enriched. Oh, I made a bunch. Sweet. Bam. Then I probably need to make some of these. Yes. What are these ones called? Reinforced. Let's just go Alloy. There we go. Let's just make like 20. Sounds good. I like 20. <laughs> there we go. Oh, I haven't made the cables yet. There we go. I'm sure I'll need these cables for uh, other stuff. That's why I'm kind of making the extras. Might as well just proactively make them. This way I don't have to worry about power either. Curious how this generator works though. We don't seem to have to set anything. Sounds good to me. Let's go to here. Let's go to upgrades. Let's set. Let's put the energies in first. Because I think it stops working otherwise. So let's do that. There we go. Go here. Kind of let them go. And they're going to be getting bigger and bigger energy bars, I think. Yep. There we go. All eight in there. Looks good. Get eight of those in there. Bam. And bam. There we go. How's this going? How much is it producing more now? I'm curious. Oh, it's just flying now. <laughs> We're going to finish our gases in no time. Look at that. That is so much faster. Wow. This one's still a little slow, I guess. Oh. I need faster pipe. That pipe's not going to cut it. That's the problem right there. Okay, so we're just going to upgrade some of this basic mechanical pipe to advanced mechanical and to probably... Is there... Does it go lead to ultimate? Is that the way that works? Apparently so. Anyway, ultimate. There we go. There we go. And I guess we're just going to... Change this and see if it goes faster. There we go. Ultimate? Are you the ultimate? Oh, I just put on ultimate power cable. To... No, that's mechanical. Oh, I didn't want mechanical. Why did I pick... Is that the right stuff? Ultimate mechanical. That is fluids. Okay. <laughs> just making sure. Is that actually moving stuff? It does not seem like it. It's like it's doing nothing now. Uh, the brine is definitely fluids. There we go. Let's kind of grab you. There we go. Perfect. Let's throw you here. It's staying in brine now. Is it just going through it that, that, oh, that quick? So everything's good. Wow. Okay. Well, I guess it's almost done. <laughs> that is ridiculous. Look at it go now. 
Wow. Wow, their pipes are fast. I like those. That's good stuff. So apparently we are done sodium. <laughs> and we are done hydrogen chloride, <laughs> just like that. That is awesome. How much of our hydrogen did you go through? The bulk of it. But it did finish it off, and that's all that matters. Um, I might actually do that. Grab you. There we go. Just in case we need hydrogen in the future for either of the other two, I guess we'll kind of throw that there, right? Oh, why aren't you doing anything? Did I mess something up? It's quite possible. Oh, it's because ethylene has nowhere to go right now because I'm not using enough power, am I? I mean, oh, I'm going to have to fix that because I need to keep producing uh, material, but I'm not actually uh, using the power from the advanced generators anymore. But uh, that's an easy fix. So I'll just go and uh, throw some iridium in there, I guess. <laughs> we'll go back to iron. and Because uh, I don't even want the scenarium because I don't want to use the glowstone, to be honest. I'd rather just dupe all the parts like I have been and not have to worry about it. Let's go here, grab a piece of iron. There we go. Grab one of them. And this is literally just to use power because I don't know what else to do. The only other thing I'd want from here is uh, nether stars and I don't even really need those. And it'd be just an excuse to burn power and I would have to set up wither skeleton farm because I never used wither skeletons. I bypassed them with the uh, RF tools uh, spawner right so <laughs> i have no idea anyway and okay let's take a look where we're at exactly where we're at let's get an idea i think i can pretty much wrap up the video but uh, let's kind of look here um so we we handled three of the gases which i wasn't expecting i expect them to be more work on that i think the last two gases are going to be a little more steps but we'll see i don't think they're particularly hard it's just a matter of knowing how to do them um but yeah we basically have those two gases and then after that we need to do the parts for the creative ending so it's a matter of getting things in the bins and making our scented paneling so yeah <laughs> we're almost there i think i think the next episode will be the last episode but anyway i'm gonna end this one here so as always if you guys like this video please hit that like button if you really liked it hit that subscribe button it's much appreciated well you guys all have a good one i'll see you guys in the next video later